The so-called mega drought that is afflicting the American West is the worst in 1,200 years. That's according to a study published yesterday. It has dried up water supplies, threatened ranchers, and fueled wildfires. The, the West has really been experiencing dry conditions for the vast majority of the last 22 years. Of the last 22, 18 have been drier than average. Just four have been wetter than average. The combination of those two really dry years in 2020 and 2021 really put this interval over the top relative to any past uh, similar 22 year period. So if you look back over the last 1200 years, going all the way back to 800 CE, the beginning of uh, the Charlemagne era in the Roman Empire, uh, there is no other 22 year period that is cumulatively as dry as the last 22 year period. What really stands out for this you know, recent drought or really ongoing, you know, mega drought in the Western United States, um, you know, is really it's, it's kind of intensity, but it's intensity over a very large spatial scale. The reason that these uh, drought anomalies are so widespread is, you know, partially because of climate change. So about 1.6 degrees Fahrenheit um, up through 2016, starting in 1901. So over that time period, based on the last national climate assessment, we've had about a degree, uh, 1.6 degrees of warming in Fahrenheit over this region. And that warming effect just happens to be a very kind of large scale effect that you know, has really helped drive the, the kind of exceptional spatial extent of this drought. Even without climate change, the West would be experiencing some degree of, of moderate drought in the last couple of decades. Uh, but on top of those natural precipitation deficits, we've also seen uh, quite a bit of warming that uh, has been driven primarily by anthropogenic climate change. What we have seen more recently is a large temperature component in our droughts. These droughts are becoming more temperature driven. So we looked at this drought from the perspective of soil moisture. And because soil moisture is the pool of, of water that's available for plants, whether it's natural ecosystems or, or, or agriculture and, and crops. The warmer the atmosphere, the more it sucks moisture out of the land surface, the more it takes moisture from plants and from uh, from the soil. Drought is not just a lack of rain. Drought is the, the difference between water in and water out. Warmer air uh, sucks up more water. And you can kind of think of the soil like a bucket. The soil can fill up, you know, with precipitation and it empties out because of evaporation. Um, so if any of those things change, changes, uh, or if both of them change, you're going to change how much water's in your bucket, and you're going to change how bad your drought is. This term we talk about um, in drought circles is called evaporative demand, and it's how much moisture the air wants to take from the surface. If you think about, you know, soil as like a bank account for water, right, then you're adding some by your deposits from rainfall, but you're losing more and more and more all the time as a result of this increase in temperature. So unless the rainfall increases to keep up with that increasing evaporation, you have more drought. Climate models do really well projecting temperature change. And so we know that overlaying on this generally drying condition is a warming, inexorable warming that will drive inexorable desiccation of the soil and of the the plants that depend on it, whether those are in natural ecosystems or in uh, crops, right? We've estimated that about 42% of the cumulative severity of the soil moisture deficit in the West is tied to human activities. This drought would have been bad. It would have happened if humans didn't exist. But you add humans to the mix, and we've made it 42% more severe, which is what really puts it over the top in terms of how it ranks to these earlier mega droughts. The temperature alone is going to drive drying independent of what precip does. In a warming world, the tendency, if rainfall was just equal, right, the tendency would be that everything would dry out. So you actually need more rain just to keep even. We might have a wet month or even a wet year, but it's going to take a sequence of several really wet years to make up for the giant water deficit that's accumulated over the last couple decades. We are on a trend towards increasing aridification in the southwest and the Mediterranean region and other areas of the globe. It doesn't even make sense to call it a drought when that implies that the drought will at some point end, right, and you'll come back to normal. But 
the normal that you started with and the normal that you end up in at the beginning and the end of a drought event are actually slightly different because of this background warming and drying trend. Most of the land surface is already way outside of what we previously considered normal. So essentially, yeah, the in the Western US, we're already in a mega drought, which is not going to end at any point in the 21st century. And that's just because of climate change. <laughs>